Hello everyone, Marty Jobson here, and welcome to Micro Minute. Today, we're going to be looking at some of this stuff. This is, of course, Velcro. Uh, now, contrary to what many people believe, Velcro was not invented by NASA. It was, in fact, invented in 1941 by a Swiss engineer called Georges de Mestral. And, I mean, that said, uh, NASA did give Velcro its first big break when it put it onto uh, spacesuits. And thereafter, the zipperless zip, as it was known, uh, became more and more popular with garment manufacturers. Anyway, let's take a closer look. So, what I've got here is, um, I've actually got some, uh, some authentic Velcro. This is the only authentic Velcro I could find. And the name Velcro, look, see, there it is, Velcro, is actually comes from two French words, sort of squished together. Um, and here are some, here's some of the bits, that, the sticky pads that you get. But the first word uh, that makes up the name is velour, which is French for um, velvet. And that's obviously the vel bit. Um, and the crow bit, that comes from the word crochet or crochet, as we would put it, which um, is French for hook. So it's just velvet and hook. There's the velvet bit, there's the hook bit. And um, you can actually see relatively easily. So here's the fuzzy bit. And if I sort of hold it where it's actually in focus you i mean you don't need much magnification and you can see there's the fuzzy bit and importantly here's the hooked bit and you can see it's made up of these sort of hooky bits that you can see so let's get it onto the microscope and see what we can see so here we go uh, right let's focus 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 so this is what, oh, I'm massively overexposed. Excuse, you know, let's bring the exposure right down. Oh, right down, there we go. So this is what it looks like when you look at it on the microscope. It's actually quite difficult. If you just look at it top down, doesn't really show much. Now that is focus there, sort of on the tops of the hooks. But what you do see if you do it this way, especially if I shine light through it, is that it's actually made up of, a, it's actually a woven material. That's the first thing I wanted to show you. If I focus on that, you can see quite clearly that it's actually a woven material. I'll turn the brightness down a little bit, there we go. So you can see you've got this woven mesh here, okay? And then sticking out of it are these little things here, which we really are only gonna be able to see, if I focus on the top of them there, you can see them quite nicely there. But to be able to see this properly, you've got to look at the edge of it. The top down is not really going to help. So turn the bottom light off, put the top light back on, um, and let's have a look at it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tip this up and show you an edge. Zoom right out and show you the edge of this sticker I've got, because these are these sort of sticky ones. That you can um, stick on. Now this is actually this this I've discovered this is this makes um, this is quite difficult to work with because the exposure is quite difficult to get right because it's all it's sort of see through. Um, there's not a huge amount there, but you can see now as I pan down through it, you can see that it's made up of rows of um, these plastic bits sticking out, and in fact what they are. If I show you from this angle, you can see better is loops. Um, and this is, in fact, this, t this is one of those wonderful things that really makes it clear how Velcro is made. Get this really focused. It's quite difficult to focus as well. How Velcro is made. So basically, what you do is you have here a loop of um, plastic nylon that's sticking out, that's been cut, and you can see there's the cut end of it just there. If I zoom right in on just one cut end, ugh, let's find a good one. Turn up the brightness a bit. How's that? Oh, it's just started to rain here. You might be able to hear that in the background. Uh, and I'll turn up the exposure just a little bit. There, can you see that? So there what you have there is the cut open loop of the Velcro. I'm trying to hold it as still as possible. Okay, which is actually very difficult. So here's the here's the loop, 
as it would have been, but then it's been cut here. And that's actually the secret to making Velcro, it turned out. And this is what uh, de, de, de Mestral worked out. It was, it was in fact inspired by looking at um, uh, the burrs of uh, burdock. Now, um, we've looked at some burrs just recently, in fact, on, uh, just a couple of days ago. I looked at uh, goosegrass, or cleavers, as it's known by a lot of people. Uh, and that has these tiny little burr balls, which have got lots of little hooks on. And this was literally what inspired him to make this stuff. And what you do is you manufacture your nylon material with loops in it. And then you have a very sharp kind of comb with lots of sharp pointed teeth. And then you roll... The, uh, the material that you've made across this comb that's vibrating side to side. And as it vibrates from side to side, every time it comes across a row of these little hooks, it slices them open, it cuts them open. Uh, and what you get left with is quite nicely a little stubby bit there, which we're not interested in. But importantly, this bit here, which is the hook of the, the hook and loop fastener. And they're, they're pretty robust. If I sort of try and give it a bit of a poke, here's my needle. You can see there that they're, they're not, they kind of hang on and ooh, they, they don't want, they don't sort of unbend themselves. And that's obviously the important bit because then what happens is when you take the fuzzy bit, and this is what the fuzzy bit looks like, the fuzzy bit looks pretty much what you'd expect it to be. It's again, it's made from nylon, but what it is, is it's just lots and lots of thin loops, not thick loops like that is made of, but lots of very thin loops woven together and allowed to sort of stick out of the top. There, It's quite difficult to see it much detail on this because it's so complicated. And then if I take the two layers, and this bit's a bit tricksy, let's hope the focus stays in. And what we do is we bring them together like that. Right. Ooh, I'll try and get it in the middle. Just trying to get this to sit in the middle. So now the two layers are stacked together, and when we try to pull them apart, you can see it's slightly out of focus. Bring it into focus. The hooks are hooked onto those loops of thin nylon, and then if you pull harder and harder, eventually it tears it free and that's what holds them together. So it's really a very simple but ingenious way and actually making this section is quite clever. Now, that's not the only um, form of Velcro that I managed to find in the house. So I had this stuff, which is the classic Velcro, but I've also got these things. These are, um, these are little tags I use uh, for wrapping around all of the wiring. There's loads of them around here. I've got literally dozens of them because I've got wires all over the place. These things, um, uh, work in exactly the same way in that they have a sticky, uh, a hooked side, or at least th what I assume is a hooked side, and a fuzzy side. And then when the two touch like that, you wrap it around your, your cables and then you can open them up again. And they don't stick quite as well. But when I looked at these under, the, I was quite surprised. If you look at these chaps underneath the microscope, a completely different structure. Microscope. Um, again, because everything's it's so very red, it makes it quite difficult to actually see what's going on. Um, so what I'll do is I'll try and oops, try and change the lighting a little bit. Does that help? Yeah, that helps a little bit. There, you could see the the sticky side um, is made of uh, these little bumps here, and if I show you those in cross section, you'll see uh, what's going on. So again, I have to hold it up, and then. As I scroll up through it and get to the edge here, you can see that it's made of all these little sort of weird, I'm not quite sure how to describe them. They're kind of like back-to-back -back C's or something like that. Um, it's made of these little weird um, shapes. And I'll zoom in on a couple there. Okay. And there's loads and loads and loads of them all over. And they're really, really tiny. These are much smaller than the hooks you get on this stuff here. These are much, much smaller. And because they're not quite so sort of hooky, they're not, the hook doesn't go quite so far over. This presumably explains why it's not nearly as strong as um, the, oh, just turn the exposure up a little bit. 
so that you can actually see what I'm showing you. And these things also aren't woven like the Velcro, the original Velcro is. I think how this stuff looks to be made, it looks like these are actually cast as one sort of unit. And I suspect what happens is that this solid plastic base, because this, this base to this fuzzy material, so this is the fuzzy material here, you can see that. If I kind of put the lighting like that, there's the fuzzy material. And then here is... If I get the lighting on this right, it shows up quite well. Here are the um, the hooky bits, and it's all one solid plastic sort of lump. And I suspect these are cast and then just sort of pulled off from the machine as it's being made. So completely different structure. Right, let's go back to I'll put this back under the microscope just so that I can and zoom out a little bit. It's quite difficult to see. I'll put it. I'll do it this way around, and then we can you can see it better with the. Um, you can see it like that quite nicely there. So, right, um, that's all I was had time to show you today and get the exposure right. I um, hope that gave you a little insight into how Velcro works. As always, thanks to um, thanks to uh, Zeiss for providing me with these lovely microscopes that I can show you stuff. Uh, later today, in fact, if you're watching this live, later today I'm uh, part of the Cheltenham Science Festival uh, and doing some more microscopy for them. I think that's on at four, so you can tune into that. I'll tweet out links to that. Once again, thanks for watching. Um, come back another time. Uh, I'll see you later. Take care. Bye bye.